where the music matters. 90.3 KEXP. You are listening to Audio Oasis, the Northwest Music Show. I'm Charlize, your host, and I am pleased to present to you Walking Papers, live on KEXP, Seattle. Walking Papers, live on Audio Oasis, KEXP. If you didn't hear Jeff, he said the next song is called The Butcher, yeah. and he's happy to be here.
to Walking Papers, live on Audio Oasis. Thank you. You just heard The Butcher, and the whole world is watching. The Butcher is a really cool song to listen to on the album. I have to say that Thank you before we dive into this interview. It's very um, beautiful live as well. Thank you. Yeah. Um, First time with Jacqueline. She awesome. Yeah. There. Yeah. Thanks for coming and playing. Us. That's awesome. So, um, quick little, how, just, how did you guys get together? I mean, I know that Barrett and Jeff, you, you, Barrett, you called Jeff and you were like, I want to do something. And Jeff was like, cool. And you guys started doing something together and then you added in some friends. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. I mean, the short story is I, I did call Jeff after seeing his band and, and Ben in the missionary position, their other band, okay, seen them play cool. several times. And yeah. I wanted to do some kind of a, you know, storytelling, songwriter-based rock and roll band. And I called Jeff, and we started, you know, working on some ideas. And, and then when it came time to record, we got Duff to come in and play bass and Ben to play keyboards. And it just kind of became a band while making the record. Yeah. And have, so you're playing drums, Barrett, and you're also playing vibraphone. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and a few other exotic things. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to tell you that in high school I played vibraphone at Marimba really? and awesome. Glockenspiel. Yeah, I even took lessons well, too. You know, sometimes he can't play the drums and the vibraphone oh, at the I'm same totally time. Oh, I'm totally available. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm available <laughs> if you need. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So outside of the desire to play with old friends, what um, is the main inf- inspiration for the project, would you say? Um, well, you know. Someone's got to keep an eye on this rock and roll thing. There's, right. there's some people that can only be uh, spoken to through song. Yeah. So we figure we'll, uh, you know. Keep talking to them. Yeah, yeah. why not? <laughs> why, someone needs to speak with them, you know, and they want to know about current events and things like that. Yeah. So, uh, 
we try to keep our eye on the our eye on the pulse. Yeah. So you guys, you guys have traveled to Europe with this yeah, band. Yeah. Did you expect? That's actually why we put it together. Oh, so you can go to totally. Europe? <laughs> cool. <laughs> and we're going back again, actually. Did you expect that all of this would happen? That you guys would be traveling? and Well, and... expectations lead to disappointment, so. Oh, right. That sounds so wise. <laughs> so wise. So, but uh, usually, so, uh, you know, every... You make the record and you, you're excited about these songs and it, yeah. it's uh, such a privilege to be able to do that and with, you know, people that you respect and admire and then right. everything that comes with that is totally a bonus. Yeah. You know, so it's like, uh, uh, so it's kind of like it's in this band, it's like it's my birthday every day. Awesome. You know, new things, exciting yeah. presents arrive all the time and, you know, so we just keep blowing out the candles, making wishes. Yeah. You know, and. They, some of them are coming true, so how about that? Yeah. You know, have you guys, dreams do come true. <laughs> have you guys been able to work on your other projects? Because you guys all have other projects that you do. Well, Duff, yeah, aren't you about and, to, you're about to go on tour. Yeah, I, well, okay, so uh, to back up a little bit, this is Duff. And, and um, I mean, the reason I, I bought, I wanted to play with Jeff for a long time. I've known him for a long time, and, and Ben, of course. And Barrett and I... Um, we did some recording back in like I don't know '98 or '99 or something, and and we kept in touch. But to be able to do finally something, I think Jeff Angel, his voice is very important for yeah. for rock music right now, and and uh, always. Ten years ago was important, and, yeah. and right now, and uh, this combination of of fellas is really cool and dynamic, and we can travel in a van together which is really important yeah you know you can be a band and record just fine but it's how you travel together how you right. um how you smell together you know the, the whole thing right. and uh so i i'm i'm really pretty stoked to to be playing in this band and and we we, we do do other things yeah but uh this is really sort of an important thing I this think is for such all of a us. love fest yeah, yeah. I love you guys too. Yeah. <laughs> we love you. Yeah. Well, I, I am very often. excited that you guys are playing the Audio Oasis Benefit Show for Shun Pike. It is truly an honor, and it's well, going to be we're awesome. We're big fans of KEXP. I'm pretty sure you guys are the only station that in town that for me really. I don't know, you know. So it's a an honor. Well, that's very yeah. nice to hear. But yeah. the show is going to. It's. It, I. I just keep thinking about it, and you know, there's only like 200 people who can fit in there yeah. and it's going to be so cool and so intimate so i'm i'm excited for february 2nd so cool. thank you very much awesome yeah. you guys have a couple more songs to play we do great walking paper is live on audio oasis kexp yeah. <laughs>
You're listening to Walking Papers live on Audio Oasis, KEXP. Alright, the song is called uh, A Place Like This. It's actually written about a dude. He's a, he's a player. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. That's my tune talk.
You've been listening to a live performance by, by Walking Papers here on Audio Oasis on KEXP. You guys sound great. Thank you so much for coming. So a couple things that we should cover. Um, the self-titled record came out in October and is available everywhere. And you guys will have it at the show on February 2nd, available mm -hmm. for purchase. Jeff, you are performing tonight with your band, The Missionary Position, and Benjamin is in that band as well. Yeah, I'm trying to twist Jacqueline's arm over there, too, because she makes everything so much classier. Are you gonna, Jacqueline, you gotta, you got to go. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm learning a few things. <laughs> She's awesome. learned like five songs in two days. She's doing real good. That's awesome. Great. And let's see, um, Barrett, uh, Sunyata is your record label. Yep, I started that about 10 years ago. Awesome, yeah. cool. And that's the label that the record came out on. Do you yep. have any um, other projects that are coming out in 2013? Um, well, yeah. Um, I believe the missionary position records are going to be coming out. Cool. Um, I'm working on a project with an electronic composer and... I, I just keep the label open for cool projects that, you know, seem worthy of a, of a push. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. And sunyatarecords.com is where it can be found. Yes. Where people yeah. can find out more information. And Duff, do you have anything that you um, want to plug? My, my punk rock band, Loaded, we're going to Australia in like uh, 14 yeah. days or something. Yeah. Awesome. Or no, 20 days. I saw that. In, in Japan. I yeah. saw that. You're going to get a tan. I will get a tan in, in Australia, awesome. indeed. <laughs> he could bring it's like 110 um, too, degrees there today. So um, I have a friend vis visiting from Australia right now. She's staying with me. Yeah. And uh, this morning she was like, um, there's not very many things that are Australian um, because, some, I, I don't know, his history that I can't even get into right now. Right. Because... I don't really Let's remember. Let's get into it. <laughs> no, yeah. no. Um, but she made me try something this morning that I did not like at all. Vegemite. Vegemite. Oh, yes. Yeah, I, I. That was gross. Yeah. Like I didn't like it. Uh, but she was like, "Well, I guess you have to grow up on it." But you've had it before. It's like it's like vegetable spread. She said that it's like what's left of, like what they make of beer or something like the, hops and yeah and barley and yeah. I don't like beer. So there's the problem right there. And, and I mean, I like vegetables. So, you know, I'm like veggies, you know, that sounds good. But that was like brown salt. Yeah. Like it was like, like brown, salty, like icky. I think I tried Vegemite once and, yeah. and it was once. It was a one time thing. Yeah. It, did, it didn't draw me back. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're not going to Australia for. For, for the that. Vegemite. No. It yeah. became really popular in that Men at Work song. The Men at Work. The Vegemite <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> That's awesome. That, that brought the, it to a new level of. Uh, yeah. Mm. Appreciation. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. You can find Walking Papers on Facebook and Barrett Martin. You can keep, keep up with him at barrettmartin.com and his record label, sunyatarecords.com. All of that information is on the online playlist at kexp.org. And the show that Walking Papers are headlining with Wayfinders and Daniel G. Harmon and the Trouble Starts is sold out. The advanced tickets are sold out, but there will be yes. some tickets at the door. So show up early. The doors are at 9 p.m. and that's February 2nd at the sunset. More information on our community partnership initiative is also online at kexp.org. You have been listening to Walking Papers live on Audio Oasis, KEXP, Seattle.